Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends! Wickedy here. We are heading back into the chickadee farm for our second spring. <laughs> and, of course, I'm still in the kitchen. No, don't go to sleep. We will move some stuff around. So, we have currently the Juicy Bugs quest going. I do still want to get that, but right now, um, because this place is such a mess and it's my second spring, I don't want to be embarrassed when Grandpa eventually comes and visits, or anyone for that matter. So, we're gonna get everything organized. My hoe is still over at Clint's, being worked on. Move this over here for now. I, like, I don't want to be embarrassed, yet here's a worse mess. Bats today, ick. Okay, um, weather is gonna be sunny. What do we have here? Vincent's birthday is the next, so we don't have to worry about that yet. We'll clean this area up. Um, I'll probably make the inside of the house a little bit more productive. My shed is fully upgraded, so we've got some stuff to do with that. Of course, I gotta get my coffee on. And I'm going to actually be moving my whole processing center here upwards. So that we can- Oh, perfect! Heckles and hops are ready, which means that they're gonna be ready inside of the shed, too. Anyways, um, I have space to be able to put a few more sprinklers here. We're gonna be moving the processors further up so that we have them closer to where we're going to be starting our day off at and ending our day off at. Because it's kind of pointless to just have it down here. And running up and down. So I think this section of the Four Corners Farm is gonna be a secondary field. We have this space for more stuff here. And up north in the north field, we have um, space for other farming as well as, where is it? Perfect. We need these. Um, as well as uh, processing and whatnot, it's gonna be up there. Now, we do still want to get that ship done for Willy. I have f only six iridium bars. We need more, definitely. In general, we need more hardwood. And I need batteries. That's going to be the biggest thing. It's getting some batteries going. <laughs> Alright, let's see how our animals are doing today. Oh, and we do have a hardwood tree, which is awesome. Well, or mahogany tree. Ever, it gives you hardwood. It's the same. Chop that down. We'll leave the stump until hopefully we get um, some more seeds. Just gotta be very careful around that one. But we can cut around the rest. That's about as much as I'm gonna do there. Okay. Anyways, on the top left corner... Or the northwest corner? This this area up here. I'm thinking of having this area having um, our hardwood grove. Hello, animals! And these guys, what do you want? Two earth crystals. I have one on me, so we'll give you that one. And then we'll get another one in a little bit. And let's check the greenhouse. I want to get some stuff into the ground around maybe stuff with like less time. Um, I'm thinking of, yeah, we'll just do, we'll do some uh, beet seeds. We're going to be getting our hoe tomorrow. Actually, I won't plant anything until after we get our hoe tomorrow. And that way we can start working on getting everything situated to where I want. We're going to do star fruits in here. Um, the only thing I think I am going to plant is that ancient fruit seed. These are actually not, the chests are not organized the way I want them to, so we'll fix that as well. 
I feel like this episode is like, let's fix all of the mistakes I've made over my entire playthrough. <laughs> and we're just gonna do a half and half shed for now until I eventually do build a, another shed. Honestly, if you go too keg crazy, it just kind of gets a bit much for me anyways. I like to diversify my income. I love pumpkins. I love making pumpkin juice and pumpkin pickles. Now I was having these organized as keg and preserve jar items, but I think I'm just going to switch it up and make it um, fruit versus vegetables. And then we'll get a few more mini fridges so we can move um, the actual vegetables that we need to cook with into there. All right. Add a nice little patio out here, actually. Pop that right here, and where is my preserve jar? Did I not grab the extra one? Oh, I put it in here. Uh, we'll make another one. <laughs> I'll just have to remember. I feel like once I get everything laid out the way I want it to, I'll really be able to focus on getting the money that I want. Oh, I can put a sign on the fish pond. Keep forgetting to do that. We have all of these sprinklers sitting in here just like wasting and doing nothing. So after we get the hoe tomorrow, we can definitely um, spread those out all over and just plant a bunch more stuff because it's just sitting here doing nothing. So that's kind of a waste. <laughs> Just two batteries, it looks like. That is definitely not enough for what we're going to need, especially with all the sprinklers that I want to make. And I do want to get a horse right here, so that'll be really nice. This is going to be like our gems and geodes box. Save one of those. Da, 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 da. And then I like to have a like a monster slash combat box. Um, batteries usually drop from monsters, so uh, I like to have those in there. Well, they can drop from the bats in Skull Cavern. Okay, so how I usually like to have my layout is I'll have all of my resources and these kind of seeds in one box, the basic resources. Then I like to have my gems, my combat. I like to have one air, one box that is dedicated towards stuff that I use for crafting fertilizers and like warp totems and the warp totems go in there too. This box is usually always dedicated for um, Anything for making seasonal seeds. Not all my extra seeds, but for the seasonal seeds, right? And then sometimes I'll throw a few other things in there too. I feel like I might be using this box a bit more. Um, I have to decide whether or not I wanted to go crazy with uh, seasonal seeds up this upcoming season, but we'll gather some spring stuff and probably plant a few of those, make some more tea bushes and things like that. We'll keep this blue box as our like fish box for now until I do other stuff with it. And this box is normally for all of my extra things, things that will eventually like deconstruct or use for decorating the farm. And then eventually we'll be able to unlock the uh, 
bone crusher, and I usually keep bones and things in here. Everything in that one? Done. How about this one? Yes. Done. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll get more wood chippers and move those over to the grove. Space for everything, perfect. Only things left is just a bunch of vegetables, which we'll move up later. I think that's going to be a lot better. And then I'll get some nice lighting over here, add in some fencing, and we'll put the furnaces down this way too. All right, that's kind of mostly organized. I have just a little bit of time. Uh, no, we don't have enough time to not pass out. I was gonna pop this and give that to the fish, but... Uh, it's starting to feel a lot better. I'm starting to feel a lot better about the outside world. <laughs> and then we'll work on the inside stuff. Not a lot of progress done today, but um, a lot of organizing progress, which will make me feel a lot less disorganized. It's gonna help, it's gonna help a lot, I promise. Did make some good money from pale ale and pickled pumpkins. We need to get that wood gathered so we can start making more of the, the those more frequently. All right. Okay, it is the 10th day of the spring on year two. And the hose ready, thank goodness, so we can get those um, things taken care of in the greenhouse. We have clear and sunny today or tomorrow. Good luck today. So it'll be actually a pretty good day to do some wood chopping. And we learned the Maki roll again. Don't need it, thanks. One more batch and you'll be done and then we will get um, this whole place cleaned up too. Vincent's birthday is today, so let's see if I have any good grapes. Otherwise, he can just have a snail. Oh yeah, this is already starting to look much better. I'll do just a little light organizing just with whatever's left over in my pockets. Hello, greenhouse! Those go in there. These are gonna go right in here, See, being that we're not making seeds from those anymore. All right, let's see how the animals are doing today. Hi, you dog me. Ooh, and we got another hardwood mahogany tree. Hello, everyone. Good morning. All right, I got this for you. And that too. I gotta decide. I think I'm gonna bring these up to my new little area too. And then those need to start moving into the mini fridges that we get. So we have 34,000, which is a decent amount. Um. I think we should do some stuff with Robin today, or at least like buy some things that I need. All right, it's after nine o'clock, so we can go and get the, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, dog meat. We can go get our hoe now, which will help. And only 11 coal left, so we're, we're definitely struggling on that. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna sell those. Well, maybe not that one. Yeah, that one too. Now, I only have 77 wood left, which is pretty rough. So gathering a bunch of wood is gonna be definitely beneficial because we have tons of oak resin to make a ton more kegs, but wood, not so much. I would buy some, but um, the prices went up. So we're gonna pass on that. I do want to repaint the shed, so that would be nice. All right, do I have a grape? I have a regular grape. 
So let's go and grab a um, a snail, Vincent. I see you. They're just like teasing me here. They're like, oh, we're just going to hang out close. I'm not going to do anything about it. But just so you know, I could if I want to. <laughs> that is what these ducks are saying to me. Yuck. You know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, so let's go pop over and see what Clint has for us. We'll grab any forageables on the way. Looks like there's a few. Hello, Pam. How's it going? Ooh, plenty. You feel alive again behind the wheel. Feeling alive while speeding down the highway after I give her a pale ale. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Clint, please give me stuff. Oh, thank goodness. We've got our steel hoe. Hooray. Thanks. Um, where are we at with you anyways? I've been, if I look a bit messy, I've been working at the for furnace. Uh, okay. I just wanted to say hi. Clint with the ten hearts. Um, Abigail's in the library today. That's a, another thing we need to really work on is getting all of the rest of the things donated. I don't think we have that just yet. Blah, blah, blah. Now there's a few things we're missing. Quite a few things. Hey, buddy. You're blanking. Um, what should it be about? Ooh, ooh, trains. <laughs> I like trains. So it works for me. Um, where's your brother, anyways? It's Wednesday, so he. Oh, shut up, Alex. Anyways, it's Wednesday, so he might just be. Um. Wait, where are we at with Harvey? Harvey, I have a coffee in my pocket. It's nice to have a friend. Yeah. Here, this is for you. No, no, for you. There. Favorite stuff. It's like I looked at the Wikipedia. Yes, I did. Okay, we need to find Vincent. Vincent. I don't think he's at school on his birthday. I think he might be at home. Hmm. No, it's just Kent here. Uh, bye, Kent. Looking for your son. The, what, one of them. Only because I really want to focus on getting to max hearts with everybody that we can. Yeah, there they are. Hello, everybody. Abigail, um... Well, technically, talking to people is work, so... You two, nothing physical, just online classes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I believe it. I don't really have... I didn't really bring anything for anyone. Let's just give people gold star cheese. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, Abigail. Yeah, of course. Cool, cool. Anything for you. Hello, Vincent. Okay. How about here, something to play with to keep you occupied. Perfect. And hopefully you are not lactose intolerant. This is for you. Oh, no. <laughs> I made mistakes. Apparently she does not like, uh... Jazz does not like cheese, guys. Does not like cheese at all. I'll worry about those later. I know more so what people love than I do what they hate, so that's my mistake. Da, 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 da. Little bit of money to burn. So we're gonna go and spend it. Hi, Maru. Maru, say hello to me. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, likes having me around in case his medical equipment goes haywire. That's nice. Good for you, keeping yourself busy in this small town. Hello, Robin. Max friendship with you. And Demetrius, where are you at? Oh, we're really close with Demetrius. Nice. 
Um, <laughs> construct. Let's paint. I think the shed might. Can I paint this? Oh, I I guess I didn't even realize that I had that done yet. I think I want to um do all slightly different. I want to paint this, but I'm not sure I want the building purple like everything else. Well, uh, like dark purple anyways. We might go for a more like a, a wine ish color purple that's kind of cute i like it and now yeah that's uh, it'll do <laughs> the house let's do dark of course for my dark witchy hood miss oh that looks kind of nice like a lighter house with a purple trim Let's make the trim darker, though. Yeah, I kind of like that. Darker roofs and lighter. Well, I guess that's as dark as we can make the roof, huh? Darker roofs, lighter trim, and a nice purple color. Did want to build one more shipping bin. That's my usual spot, and it's a good spot, but it might get in the way. Well, not if we keep the path this way, so we'll leave that one there. Yes, and then I will build a second one. Please, Robin. So this will have to do, and then I'll like place something back there to make it look pretty or look nice. Yeah, I want it right there. Okay. I think that's pretty good for everything. Silo's okay exactly where it is. And da, 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 everything else is looking good. I like being able just to look things over. Ooh, we got some honey to pick up too. All right. Thanks, Robin. Now let's do a little bit of shopping. Mm, not just yet. We'll do, oh, it's 3,000, it's okay. So I've got one mini fridge already, so I want two more. So we have a fruit and a veggie, and, cause we gotta start crafting at least one of everything. And then a fish, and then we have our staples, and we have our roots and whatnot. So that's good. All right. Just spending. A casual 12,000 gold at Robin's on refrigerators. Oh, hey, buddy. Do ya. If you can fully understand the reasons behind your thoughts, you have reached a new... Ooh, I wonder if Linus is like some wilderness guru guy. I mean, it does like levitating and things like that. I can see that. And I have 40 wood to my name. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. All right, seed time. Get our first angel fruit seed in the ground. Uh, right there looks good. We'll put this um, somewhere too. I don't have any speed grow on me. Okay. But you're right there. And then everything else will be star fruit. Alright, so we have a pepper plant right here. And a strawberry. And a pepper. And a blueberry. We did good, but it's time to move on to more productive plants. Yeah. How many springtime seeds can we make? We can make 30. Got it. Okay, I can do that. We don't have to worry about them having any um, 
scarecrows. Okay, we're short too. It's totally fine. I've got a couple of radish, or not radish seeds. I've got a couple other seeds. So I'll just fill right there instead. And rhubarb seeds. We'll do that. Unless I have something that works. We'll do the six. Way we can just keep moving that up. Now, this is it's still a little too dark in here. We can start working on filling out the greenhouse and making it look aesthetically pleasing too. An awful lot of things in that box that just doesn't need to be there. This blue box um, will probably carry a few fish, but um, I'm gonna be putting the fairy roses in there too. Or maybe I want those in this box. Yeah. So we can craft something with that later. Now flowers just take up so much space because um, they have so many different color variations as well as different quality. So I usually like to just throw my flowers into the box with all the mushrooms. <laughs> um, unless I need them for cooking, which we will need those for cooking at some point. All right, we have... Oh, who's calling me at 12 o'clock? Hey, Pokey, me so... Uh, really, it's like late. Can you not do that right now, Pokey Fish? Or no, Pokey, uh, Hat Mouse. All right, um, we'll do fruits and then vegetables. Flowers will go down here. So we're gonna grab those jazz flowers um, to move those over at some point too. I like to put uh, flowers and forage-esque items together. And these are all staple items, which are actually going to go into the main fridge. And then I put eggs and milk up there too. It's like staples and dairy. Now, tomato is a culinary vegetable, so I still put that in the um, vegetable section. And same with the, the hot pepper, we'll just put them in the fruit. There's usually more room for fruit than there is veggies anyways. And that is it for my kitchen organization for now. It's 1.10 so we could probably get to bed. Yeah, probably a good idea. All right, and I'll worry about the rest at another time. All right, I think that's um, enough organizing for today. I'm going to just toss a couple of things into the cell box real quick. These Nautilus shells, I don't really feel like I need those. Summer spangles um, are usually, I usually save those for Caroline, but Caroline's at max heart, so we don't need that for her anymore. I'm just gonna sell them. I'm gonna sell these Silver Star Purple Mushrooms. They do make good food, but we'll just sell those instead. And those will go uh, probably inside for like making sashimi and things like that. I gotta move those over too. We'll do that first thing in the morning, but this is gonna stay in this yellow box because this is gonna be like my gifty box and the very few bundles that we have left. This is for a quest. That, that, and that are gonna be for cooking and Joja is for a gift also. Okay, that is so much more organized. Squid ink we'll keep in the fridge too. And it's off to bed. <laughs> Our little steps, but definitely worth it. I made an okay amount of money just for selling a bunch of stuff that was kind of sitting around. And that. All right, it's Thursday the 11th. No birthdays, my cactus are ready. Can I move, can I move these? <laughs> Not with the plant inside. Okay, well, 
you learn. It is <laughs> no longer um, going to be here anymore. <laughs> Let's see what the report. Raining tomorrow, fantastic. I don't think it's gonna be lightning until um, next season though. And we've got some good luck today. Crab pot talking about, okay, cool. The mail, Sandy sent us a coconut. That's really nice. Now I had talked about doing some wood shopping yesterday and we never ended up getting around to it because it's just so much other things to do right now. Uh, I'm gonna keep cloth in here too. Do I only have one cloth? Looks like it. Now I'm gonna hold off on making more bars until we get some more coal because we are practically out. And I can finally cut the rest of this grass. Okay. So we're um, getting close to the end of this. We do need to get that bug meat for Willy to make him happy. All right, let's go see how our animals are doing today. Hello, hello. Got a couple of truffles, nice. Go ahead and grab all of this stuff from inside of here and anything that we can process anyways and move it on over. We'll leave the duck feathers and I don't think, do I have a loom right now? I don't have a loom so we'll leave the, the wool for the moment. Start going through, I'm gonna take the low quality small eggs and put those in the fridge. All of our small milks into the fridge also um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually ship one of everything one two three I don't have a small regular egg do I I don't uh, we'll get there eventually I'm sure Guys, move. I've got things to do here. Please. I might have to um, incubate a new regular white chicken so that we can get some um, small white eggs again. They all love me too much. Now what am I doing with the rest of my day? We are going to go ahead and chop a bunch of trees down, get some wood. If we get all of these trees chopped, and we still have plenty of time. We can actually head to Calico Desert for a little bit. Oh no, we need to get bug meats. That's what we need to do. So I'm gonna make a monster musk after these trees. And then we're gonna go ahead to the mines and get that taken care of for Willy. Okay, so I'm actually kind of hoping for a chicken statue. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Another one. And another one. I have an I, I have a plan for all of these chicken statues. <laughs> okay, that's all the trees. We did get one mahogany seed from that stump, so we'll place that somewhere. And then we'll let those grow just a little bit so we can chop some more down. For now, we'll just put it here with the rest of them. Ta-da! Three o'clock is doing good. Let's go ahead and make a monster musk. That'll be nice. You chicken statue can go with all the other chicken statues. Oh, and I should get these um, other things. So apricot. Albacore, which we have, a squid for Willy. That's all stuff that we're going to be doing very soon as well. Monster mask, yeah. That'll be fun. And then hopefully we can get some coal while we're at it. I mean, we're going to be in the 20s and such, so we're not going to be having like a ton of coal, but... 
Hey, Yip Pam. How's it going? Hmm. Yeah, you're either there or here. Well, now that you have a job, you should be spending less time there, right? Right? She's not quite at, um, 10 hearts yet. We'll get there. I don't really want to give her the cheese when I have a few things inside of the... Ooh, let's take a peek. I have a few things inside of, um, at home that would work really nice for her. We'll clear this area up too and probably actually turn it into something productive. Mines. And pop on this. Hello. And head on down. Um, let's start with 25. Nothing. Oh, I should check uh, our monster eradication goals because being that we have such a quick, easy access slime level, that would actually be really smart to maybe get our slime charmer ring. I'm going to go over to the adventurers guild real quick and see what our goals are at so that we can... Um, I'm also really low at stone, <laughs> so that we can work on that too. If we get all the bug meat that we need, we can definitely um, finish up the slimes since I have this monster musk going on. Hey fellas, hey fellas. Da, da, da. We are really close on the slimes. Dust sprites, uh, we're not as close on that, but really close on the slimes. So it was 21 was a slime level. So what we'll do is we'll hit 21, clear all the slimes out, go down, hit bugs, and do it again. Oh, we finished the monster eradication goal for the Duggies. That's nice. Oh, and another ancient seed. How lovely. We'll craft that into a packet right away. Okay, it's 140. I probably should have left like a long time ago. I was trying to get it. We're like six away. Uh, I don't know exactly how much. Uh, yeah, we're six bug me away from completing the goal. Uh, it's probably going to cost me, isn't it? Can I make it? Nope, not even into the house. Uh, it's okay. Still kind of worth it. Six bug meat left. Sold a little bit of like everything. Still need a small. Oh, I sold double. I sold one too many of those, but we still need a small white egg to sell too. All in all, it's not too bad. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode of the Chickadee Farm. Gotta get that six last bug meat for Willy tomorrow. Probably with the meat and bug layer. All right, friends. Well, I'm Megany. Thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you in the next episode.